everyone, it's Katrina. Number 10, Underwater Winery. In mid-2021, a group of researchers found an ancient Roman ship wrecked off the island of Ustica, which is located north of Sicily. It rests at a depth of around 230 feet. Using a submarine robot, the team noticed that the ship was carrying a huge number of large jars the Romans used to transport wine and other goods, known as amphorae. Just weeks after, scientists announced the discovery of another ancient Roman ship off the coast of Palermo, Sicily. Dating back to the 2nd century BC, the vessel sits over 300 feet beneath the waves, and it was also carrying many, many vessels of wine. And these are just two of many Roman shipwrecks that have been found. Based on this incredible history, a company has decided to install an underwater winery inside a wrecked ship in the Adriatic Sea. Because why not? If you love wine and you love history, then this is the place for you. This incredible winery was made near the town of Drace, Croatia, about one hour from the famous ancient city of Dubrovnik. The Edivovina Winery, as it's been named, was created with adventurous scuba divers in mind. It's the only winery in the world where you have to pick out your own submerged jug while breathing underwater. Though, of course, there is also a winery on flat ground for those who don't want to go through the trouble of putting on a scuba suit. The winery is complete with underwater cellars, wine stored in bottles, and housed in a sunken fishing boat that's been sitting at the bottom of the bay for over 30 years. 5,000 bottles of wine annually are aged above the ground for three months before being put under the waves in the special amphorae. What's really cool about this is that the vessels they use are imitating the traditional clay jugs used by the ancient Greeks and Romans. People don't really use them anymore, but the underwater winery in Croatia is bringing them back. In case you were wondering how they keep underwater jugs of wine safe, they use padlocked cages. If you were thinking of sneaking into the bay and getting yourself some free wine, you're going to need to learn how to pick locks while scuba diving like an aquatic MacGyver. Are you down to check this place out? Number 9. Japanese F-35 Fighter Jet The day after it disappeared from radar over the Pacific Ocean, the wreckage of a Japanese F-35 fighter jet was found at sea. Or at least parts of the plane were found at sea. The rest was at the bottom of the ocean. Nobody knows for sure why the plane lost contact and crashed. Following the incident, the remainder of the Japanese stealth fighters were grounded, pending investigation. And to make things truly tragic, the man who was piloting the stealth fighter is still missing. Seeing as this happened just recently in 2019, he may never be found. The trouble started around 7 o'clock at night on a Tuesday. The fighter jet was flying 84 miles east of Misawa in Japan. 30 minutes after taking off, it lost all contact with the Misawa Air Base. The missing pilot sent a signal to abort the mission, but nobody knows why or what happened. The only confirmation of a crash came from a few pieces of the fighter's tail fin fished out of the water. The 40-something-year-old pilot is MIA, and the aircraft itself is in pieces at the bottom of the sea. It was the second time in the history of the F-35 that one of them crashed. Number 8. Lost Kyrgyz Civilization In the country of Kyrgyzstan, an international team of archaeologists discovered the existence of an advanced civilization at the bottom of a lake. These archaeologists went on an expedition to Lake Isuk Kul, located high up in the Kyrgyz mountains. The mysterious civilization lived here around 2,500 years ago. And, according to the team's findings, their civilization was just as advanced as those in what is today Greece, and even the prospering societies along the Mediterranean coast. Here's what they found beneath the lake. The archaeologists uncovered the remains of a major settlement buried under the water. They found artifacts, crumbling city walls, burial mounds from the ancient Scythians that have been eroded by centuries of waves, arrowheads, daggers, gold bars, and even bronze battle axes. Judging by the formidable outer walls, some of them still stretching for over 1,500 feet, this was an enormous city for its time. And judging by the sheer number of artifacts and weaponry, it was one that could easily defend itself. The reason it ended up submerged has to do with the lake itself. Scientists know that the lake regularly shifts its water level. Sometimes it's full, 
Sometimes there's not a drop of water in it, but these changes are gradual, happening over a span of several hundred years. What this means is that 25 centuries ago, the lake was dry. An unknown civilization moved in, built an amazing city, and then came the water. They were forced to abandon the city as their houses flooded and they were driven out by the mighty force of Mother Nature herself. Number 7. The Ghost Town of Vilarino da Furna Vilarino da Furna is a ghost town in Portugal completely submerged underwater. It was once one of the most charming villages found at the Guerras National Park, but in 1967, the construction of a dam caused the entire area to flood so that hydroelectricity could be brought to the region. There were some protests, but it didn't do the townsfolk much good. The Portuguese electric company finally forced residents out of their homes just before the completion of the dam that submerged their small village. Within just one short year, all residents were gone, and over 2,000 years of history and culture were lost. Today, the forgotten ghost town reappears from the water on the hottest summer days. When levels in the reservoir drop sufficiently, the shattered walls and crumbling door frames of what was once a quaint village reveal themselves. It's only happened a handful of times in the last 40 years. In recent days, the history of Villarino da Furna has been safeguarded in a nearby museum, a museum dedicated to what the locals refer to as the Portuguese Atlantis. Number 6. Lost Egyptian Shipwrecks In Egypt, three Roman-era shipwrecks have been discovered off the coast of the city of Alexandria. According to the Egyptian Antiquities Authority, divers also discovered a crystal carving of some unidentified Roman's head, some gold coins from the days of the Emperor Augustus, and an idol dedicated to the god Osiris. For those who don't know, the waters near Alexandria are bursting with sunken treasures from the ancient world. Neighborhoods and entire cities were submerged because of rising sea levels and earthquakes thousands of years ago, leaving much to be discovered in modern times. In fact, before the city of Alexandria even existed, there was a port city named Heraklion, which is currently under several feet of water. Expeditions have found shrines to Egyptian gods here, statues of pharaohs nearly 20 feet tall, and even animal imprints fossilized in the soil on the seabed. This place is a gold mine of ancient Egyptian treasure. As for the shipwrecks, it's impossible to say too much about them. There wasn't actually much left, with divers only discovering a handful of wooden planks and pieces of pottery to suggest they had even been there at all. The experts believe there were at least three ships in this one spot, but it could have been four. In all likelihood, they were transporting goods between Egypt and some other place in the Mediterranean when they were struck by a tidal wave or other natural disaster. Number 5. Underwater Plain There is a mystery surrounding an underwater plain that's been spotted off the coast of Scotland thanks to Google Maps. According to a report in The Scotsman, experts are scratching their heads over the image of a very clear airplane sitting at the bottom of the sea less than a mile from Edinburgh. The discovery was made by a man named Robert Morton, who was so excited by what he found that he reached out to some local professionals. He wasn't even looking for anything when he made the discovery. He was simply browsing on Google Earth when his eagle eyes spotted the shape of the aircraft and he zoomed in to investigate. What the satellite imagery suggests is that an aircraft crashed after leaving Edinburgh. The problem is that there are no records of this ever happening. It could be a Google glitch, a ghostly airplane that never actually existed. Or there really could be a mysterious plane sitting just off the coast that no one has ever heard of before. So far, nobody has been able to explain the mystery or identify the lost vehicle. If indeed it is a lost vehicle at all, and not a flaw in the matrix. Number 4. The Ruins of an Ancient Warship Inside the ruins of an ancient warship submerged off the coast of Sicily, scientists have found over 100 animal species. These animals are living inside the 2,000-year-old wreckage as if it's their own party boat. These remains are of a ship that sank during a dramatic battle between the Romans and the Carthaginians. The best guess historians have is that it sank on March 10, 241 BC. This was the day of an epic sea battle near the Aegean Islands. 
A fleet of ships from the Roman Republic faced off against an equally impressive fleet from Carthage, but Rome got the upper hand and completely wiped out their enemy, putting an end to the First Punic War. And while you might expect the wreckage of a boat with such a violent history to be creepy and lifeless, it's not really. Italian researchers found approximately 114 marine animal species existing together in harmony inside the remains of the ship. These life forms include different kinds of snails, slugs, worms, and mollusks. And of course, all the different species of fish that occasionally pass through the boat. It's an underwater sanctuary the likes of which you would expect to see in The Little Mermaid. Only this sanctuary is 300 feet deep in the middle of the long stretch of water separating Europe and North Africa. Number 3. Flight MH370 A man on the internet believes that he has discovered the truth behind what happened with flight MH370, or Malaysia Airlines flight MH370. And while that's a pretty crackpot thing to say, this guy has actually been investigating the incident for seven years. He has devoted a large chunk of his time to cracking the case. He believes that the airplane is currently sitting 12,000 feet below the surface of the water in the Indian Ocean, over 1,000 miles from Australia. The flight departed from Kuala Lumpur on its way to Beijing when it vanished seemingly into thin air. It was carrying 239 people. Despite extensive search efforts and years of speculation, its fate has remained a mystery. But Richard Godfrey, a British aerospace engineer, says he's found the crash site. He used revolutionary tracking technology, a system called weak signal propagation, to pinpoint the plane's location in the Indian Ocean. He recently told reporters that he's positive it's at this exact location. Sadly, there is really no way to find the airplane unless somebody uses a remotely operated vehicle to dive into the darkness. And if Godfrey's new tracking methods prove wrong, somebody would be out a whole lot of money. So while the plane could be down there right now, it's too big of a risk for anyone to take on. Number 2. Lost Canadian Villages There are nine lost Canadian villages that were destroyed during construction of the St. Lawrence Seaway in the 1950s. All nine of the communities were located along the northern shore of the St. Lawrence River. The communities were incredibly old, going all the way back to 1784 following the American War of Independence. Even in the 1950s, these remote settlements were primarily populated by the descendants of disbanded soldiers from the King's Royal Regiment of New York. In fact, it was Captain Jeremiah French who received one of the very first land grants from King George III, a piece of land that would turn into the town of Maple Grove. In other words, this settlement had a deep and rich history, at least until the Seaway Project. It's a story we've all heard before. The project would create a huge artificial lake to be used for hydroelectric power. But the creation of the lake would mean relocating old highways and rail lines, as well as 6,500 people. The nine lost Canadian villages were entirely wiped out by the water, flooded, and every last resident forced to move away. Nobody has seen these villages since July 1, 1958. They are still hiding beneath the water, just waiting to be explored. And as a final slap in the face for residents who got booted out of their houses, the Seaway Project never saw the return it was hoping for. One of the nearby villages in the 1950s boasted 1,036 residents. The project was supposed to cause a huge population boom, with an increase in the economy to match. But as of 2011, the population had only grown by just 103 people. Wonder how it's doing now? Number 1. Rare World War II Submarine Greek divers have discovered a very rare submarine from World War II that sank after being torpedoed by the Royal Navy. The submarine is an Italian one, destroyed roughly 80 years ago by the Allied forces in the Aegean Sea in the midst of World War II. The submarine, called the Jantina, had just left the Greek island of Leros with 48 sailors when the British made their move. On July 5, 1941, the British submarine HMS Torbay hit the other submarine with a barrage of torpedoes, sending it to the murky depths below. Now, for the first time, a human has seen the wreckage with their own eyes. 
famous Greek diver Kostas Thoktaridis used an ROV, or a remote operating vehicle, to see the thing for himself, diving down to a depth of about 300 feet below sea level. He didn't dive all the way down on his own, but used a special piece of technology called Super Achille to inspect the wreckage. And believe it or not, it was the fourth submarine located and properly identified by Kostas. He's a certifiable submarine hunter. According to him, it's all because of his love for maritime history. He's even written six books, one of them called Shipwrecks on the Greek Seabed that goes into detail on 20 of the most famous shipwrecks ever discovered off the coast of Greece. Thanks for watching. What's the craziest thing you've ever discovered underwater? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. See you soon. Bye.